Hey, what up, YouTube? Ah, it's crazy game here. It's a rematch that I played with this guy like two, like three times in a row. He matched us up, and the problem was he just keep playing this man under defense, which is almost like it's almost like auto defense. You set it up, and it's on autopilot. You don't have to do anything else. You get your three-man rush glitch, and then you just stay in the middle of the field and just roam. Anything that comes across, and of course you can see I'm trying to convert here. I can't throw to anybody because everybody's covered. So all right, you know what I mean, I'm trying with the best as I can. His offense is kind of, eh, it's okay. He runs the same three plays, the stretch right here that he runs out of close. You know, then he also has a play where he runs. Yeah, these overplays, crossing routes, of course. And. I mean, EA got to fix the stuff, man, because this this makes playing Madden almost impossible sometimes. So not only do I got to deal with the crap on offense, then you get on defense, and your opponent really doesn't have to play defense. <laughs> you just set this stuff up, and you don't have to do anything. The computer does it for you. Meanwhile, on the other end, I'm I'm busting my tail trying to you know stop all these different things that he's doing, and my opponent doesn't have to really do much. Look at this. You know what I mean? They they don't have to do anything. And it gets frustrating when you get into higher levels of the competitive scene here. And everybody's literally running the same offense. It's bunch. Like I said, it's crossing routes. It's man under defense. You know, it's the same. Everybody's running the same thing. PA boot over with the delayed tight end, you know. <sighs> yeah, it's a, it's a little bit frustrating. So, but you know, here, here goes the first game. And as you can see, I'm just trying to find a way to get around this man defense stuff. But, you know, I found a way, and I'll explain what I was doing, what I did later. But it results in a game that just drags. So you got to play. You know, well, I'm, I'm talking about the Bears here. I'm using the Bears. I don't have a super power team. If you have a super power team, you know, hey, then good for you. As you can see on field here, there's nobody open. Zero. And you rush three guys, and I'm blocking like six guys, and you still get to the quarterback. Because this three men thing, this outside guys, they just glitch off. And, you know, after this interception right here, I'm like, I'm going to be doing this all game. He's going to come in and probably just run another stretch and then run another over route. And, you know, that's the end of it. So, all right, I go ahead and concede. You know, I start, I've done not a good game plan. I could have stayed in the game, but I already know what's going to happen. It's going to be the same old, same old. So I leave the game. I go search for another game. And he yeah, matched us right back up again. I was like, all right, let me see. Let me try to come out with a quote-unquote different strategy this time. Try to run the ball more. And although I know what he's doing on offense, you know, let's try to play some so somewhat of a solid defense if I can. All right, man, we get into the game. And I'm like, man, it's this guy again. Jeez, oh, all right, let's go. All right, we start off, of course, the stretch. I'm trying to use dime, straight my line, and just try to hold the guy. You know, I know he's going to run the stretch again, so this is cover four I'm using to try to stop the run. So I'm trying to open up my, my defensive line. <clears throat> well, I think I put too many guys towards the line of scrimmage, and they kind of all got blocked here. And this guy right here on the 58, I don't know what he's doing. He, the hesitation caused me a touchdown. So, all right, two plays already. <laughs> I'm back to square one again, and I'm like, I'm going to offense going... Dang it, I got to deal with this man defense. So, I'm going to try to run the ball. Of course, you know, like I said, that, that contain stuff on the outside. You find a way to get around it. Man defense again, everybody's locked up. So, I happen to find somebody here. Get a first down. So you're going to see the way I'm moving the ball now. It's just going to be just real methodical upfield. Three yards, four yards, whatever I can get, just get, run the ball, and just take whatever I can take. Try not to force the main things upfield. Catch him and run plays when he's taking pass, but just move the ball like, no, just... I got I to gotta move it slowly upfield. I can't gun, you know, I can't gun sling, otherwise I'm going to get myself in trouble. So I'm doing a lot more running against the three-man front. But with games like this, all it takes is one mistake. You make one mistake and 
it's the dark days of summer all over again. It's gonna. <laughs> so here's the play I'm talking about. Catches me here. There's nobody open, so I force up top, thinking I'll get my tight end to beat that guy on top, but he picks me off. There's two minutes left in the second quarter. Yeah, I know he's gonna run the stretch again. <laughs> like I said, it's the Groundhog days, man. Same old, same old. This thing is, can you, can you stop it? You know, probably he's gonna be able to play action. I'm guessing in over routes. So I'm trying to contain it so he doesn't get out the pocket. Play action. So I remember to hold him down here, third down and uh, about eight or so. Another play action again because the over routes, but not this time. I'm able to contain him, and I set my. Uh, Flat to 25 for those crossing routes. So, I'm able to hold them up there. Alright. So, I found some plays that I could run. <clears throat> try to get the ball upfield here. This one broke down, so I just play make it this guy. You sound like it's not beatable, but it's frustrating. That's the that's the key word. And, it, like, it's, it, like I said earlier, it'll drag the game down. I'm forced to do this right now because it's just running low in the second quarter. But if it was in the first half, I'd be doing what I was doing earlier. Just run the ball and move the ball off field slowly. Oh, I should have hit triangle. But I got hit there. Throw another pick. My quarterback got hit. So, right here he's going to be running uh, double outs. I was in zone here, so there's nobody's open. Oh, I found the guy up here. Okay. I already know how to run it again. I went the man here and my tight the tight end beat the guy in the middle and he's able to scramble up and get a field goal. Alright, take the field goal before half. I think I get the ball back. Uh, here's a chance for me to come back in the game. In my head I'm thinking if I can score this quarter. And hopefully I can sort of kinda of stop him on defense. Because I know I can stop I can stop his uh, offense. It's just can I score on offense though? That's the problem now. This is the second straight game now, I haven't scored. Because of this stuff. Like I'm finding players here and there, but you know, as you can see, it's it's kind of tight. So this play right here, watch this slot receiver. He's running a whip to the inside. And I don't know if it's a bump, but they, they like just forget their route completely. Look, he goes outside. That's not how he's supposed to run it. But he comes back inside and he just stops. I keep coming across the field. It's like the defender ran it better than he did. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, man, I already know what's about to happen. There's more stretches and more play action. All right, I'm out of here. All right, I leave, man. I was like, all right, so let's get the third game on the way again. All right, I'll come back after the intro. What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Alright, man, round three. Let's see if I can change my fortunes this time. Since I already know what he's going to give me on offense and defense. It's just, can something change? Of course, we know the stretch is coming. So I'm just picking cover three match. I just open my line contain and force him to bring the ball back in the middle of the field where my defender is able to rally and it's kind of basically kill the stretch run. So no more stretch run for this guy. Here right here, you see him run this, uh, this all verse right here. That's be the last time he gains yards using that play. Because I saw that the previous two games and you know, there he goes again. So I just switched to man. Yeah, just try to help out with it. The uh, crossing rock coming across the middle. Okay, he runs a draw. We shut it down. It's going to go no huddle. Still a man. Although he looks like cover three, but I'm just trying to help out in the middle if he comes across. And then contain on the outside so he doesn't roll out. Alright, let's go. 
Mm-hmm. And like I was saying earlier, last two games, the reason why I, do, I lost those games, I couldn't move the ball on offense. If I can move the ball on offense, I know I can stop his offense. Because he's running the same things over and over again. I mean, it's nothing. See? This is the PA boot over with a delay tight end. Like, this is the new meta now. Everybody runs online. It's just another glitch play. That's hard to stop. Although I did stop it there, it's just somebody has to worry about that delay tight end coming off the block. But I had him scrambling. Tries to run that stretch again. No dice. It's the overplay to play action that he ran the last couple of games. I already set my depth charge to 20 yards of field, so you're not throwing that across the field. See what he does here on third down. Same thing. He's just flipped it. Doesn't really matter. I just got to cover the guy going across. Let's see if I set my contains here. Just going to try to roll out. There you go. Out of bounds. Fourth down and 17. Try to go to go to. Oh, he pointed the ball over. Okay. All right. Cool. Like I said earlier, man. Like I know what I have to do on offense. It's. <laughs> I just gotta put the ball on the ground and take my passing yards when I can get them. Try not to force too much. It's just gonna be for my offense. I know because I know what my players can and can't do. I'm not gonna beat anybody upfield with my receivers, especially now on this man-to-man -man stuff. And then you got Ramsey. Yes, Ramsey matched up against Robinson. You know, best on best, so that's over with. And what I'm doing in the line is, because it's three-man rush, they just come out, they, they, they have this rush animation they get. I double-team uh, Aaron Donald, and then I ID the mic on the other lineman. That way he doesn't come off the edge. Because you can't have both of them, like, you know, with that rush animation off the edge. That's just, you know just doesn't work so that's how I'm containing those the, the rush for, for both of them see that I got a double team and I need the mic so that way they're both covered so if I don't do that I'm gonna get sacked <laughs> Freaking insane but as you can see I'm moving the ball besides just running I can move the ball it's just like I can only take what I can take it's not a consistent thing all right, second and nine. Still, I missed O though. Just run out, throw it away, and come back on third down. Where to find my tight end? So, as you can see, I, I can move the ball. It's just those first two games, like just just certain mistakes you make. Once you make them, it's hard to come back and recover. And you know what your opponent's going to do on offense, and you don't have time, so. Unless he makes a mistake, but it's you know it's a safe offense the way he's running with the stretches and the play action. So I force him out of the man, and he's kind of playing zone mixed with the man now. It's not not strictly man anymore because it's not working. All right, he's gonna take us all the way down to to, uh, to the halftime, and we're gonna begin the second half. And same strategy that I try to implement the first two games that I lost, but you know, like I said, you make certain mistakes in the middle of the game and it's hard to come back from it. So I'm trying to implement the same strategy as I was doing before. Run, run, run. <clears throat> pass when I need to pass. But generally, you know, I'm putting the ball on the ground. And of course it comes with a run commit there. It's able to stop me. Go for it here on Fourth down and ah, uh, couldn't complete it. All right, he has the ball. I'm gonna run commit right here. I've seen this formation before. He tonight he already passed out of it, so it's another run commit. We bring him down. What is this third down? Look at that overplays. <laughs> We're waiting for it on the other side, so there's like really nobody open. So it's it's the same, you know. Same thing he's doing again. I already set up my, my defense. So I just got to watch for the quarterback, really. Because there's nobody going to be open. Send a spy after him. He has to, you know, there's, he has another delay tight end again, but the tight end didn't get out. So as you can see, it's the same old, same old glitchy stuff. Why wouldn't I run the same freaking play? I keep running the same defense. Stupid as hell. Lame as hell. 
So basically, you know, he said I was running the same play. I was like, why wouldn't I run the same play? Here's this three-man glitchy you know, stuff I'm talking about. I just double team everyone down on the left, and then I ID the mic on the on the guy on the right, so that you know that rush animation doesn't come across and sack me because I won't have enough time if I don't do that. So there he goes, double team, Aaron Dano, then I, I did a mic on the right guy on the right side. That way I have time to throw the ball. Because if I don't do this, they're just going to come three guys against, look at six blockers and they come across. But if I don't, you see what I mean? So now I'm able to double team both guys on the outside with the ID the mic on one side and a double team on the other side. So I'm able to pass the ball. So back again, man. I'm just, you know, it's just a real methodical run, 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 pass what I need to pass. And these playing offense like this can be frustrating, but I, I'm forced to play this way because, and then, you know, every now and then I'm mixing stuff in there. I'm forced to play this way because the way he's playing defense, like he just doesn't want to be just man stuff. So he starts getting angry, talking back. Like, oh. He's saying that I lost the first two and then I won. Oh, like, yeah. But you're talking to me now, so you, you know, you're the one that's mad now because the stuff you're doing is not working anymore. So he's the one getting frustrated. I mean, you play man under all day. <laughs> so, I have to run the ball. What do you want me to keep doing what I did the first two games? Keep trying to throw and then, you know, my guys don't recognize their routes because they're being bumped. It's different on the PS4 than it is on the PS5. It, this man to man stuff is more prevalent on the PS5. On the PS4, I, I can pass, I can still throw the ball. I have no problem with people playing man to man. But certain routes, it's not being recognized when you bump them. So, like that, you saw that I highlighted earlier. That whip route, he just, dude just forgot his route. And then some out routes, they forget to go on the out route. They go on the post and stuff, out route. So, he, it's like the defense now, it's like the meta defense. So, it makes games extremely frustrating to play online. Like extremely frustrating. The higher you go, the more you're gonna see man, you know, man under defense. That's what everybody plays. If I want to always only still playing zone once you get higher in rank, it's crazy. And this guy right here is like ranked like two something. And you can see the way he's playing. There's nothing really like that stands out about like wow, I, I'm learning something from him. It's the same thing. Look at this. Bunch play, just play man against it, and that's it. It's over. He has nothing, nothing, nothing. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> you know? gonna come back and do the exact same thing again and I'm not even bumping them all I gotta do is just play man and just that's it I'm not doing anything I'm not even bothering I have to even bump him he still doesn't know what to do so he's just gonna he's gonna go ahead and quit too so all right guys man hopefully that helps just strategy wise if you see man to man man all the other thing you can do is just run run if you can and take small chunks <laughs> so all right guys the so next video I'll holler at you dudes Later. I won.